So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Classic video. Now in this video I have some brand new trophies that I couldn't wait to actually show you all. Now to start off with I actually have a couple of clips that are a little bit older. Starting off with this clip of a absolutely huge mule deer. Now I had never seen a mule deer buck this big in the Hunter Classic and when I saw this thing I knew it had to be a new PB for me. This thing was absolutely huge. I could not believe what I was seeing. Just a gigantic buck. And I've been waiting to share this footage for ages, but I just haven't had the chance with one thing and another, with being busy with other videos. So I've just been sitting on this footage for ages waiting to share it with you all. But this buck is just incredible looking. The mule deer in Classic I think are really awesome. The really, really big bucks just look so, so awesome. Now, the shot on this guy wasn't great, but thankfully he didn't go very far. And picking him up, he's a 226.1417, which makes him my new PB by quite a long stretch. My previous personal best was something like a, a 215, something like that, 216. And yeah, this just completely blew that out of the water. I actually thought he might be even a little bit bigger than this, but looking back at it, he does have a couple of shorter times. But still, for me, this was just an incredible trophy and one that I was really super, super happy to actually get. Just an incredible looking buck. I'd like to get a really big non-tip muley because those look amazing as well. But I'm so happy to finally have a really huge typical for the Trophy Lodge. Now, they can get a lot bigger than that. But I'm so, so happy to have one that's actually like really decent size to put into the Trophy Lodge. And maybe one day I'll get a bigger one, but I couldn't be more happy with that. Now, on to another older clip that, once again, I just haven't had a, a video to share it in and I've just been sitting on this footage. This was another trophy that I really wanted to find in the Hunter Classic. An albino moose. Now, it is a cow moose. Unfortunately, it's not a bull. But just a rare this big to me is just still cool and this is my first ever albino moose once again i was out here on red feather falls looking for non-tips and i see this huge huge white glowing thing over in the distance and it's this albino moose what an absolutely stunning looking rare just so so beautiful and they just look so cool I think they're really, really awesome to see. Like I said, something about big rares is always pretty awesome, whether it's a bison or a buffalo or something like a moose. I think they always look really, really cool. So I'm taxing that, even though it's a female, because this is my first albino moose ever. Hopefully one day I can get a bull to replace this in the trophy lodge, but for now, I couldn't be more happy with that once again. This is a trophy I was looking for for a very long time and I was really excited to put it into my rares lodge. A really gorgeous looking animal. Now, the rest of these clips are brand new and have all happened in the past week or so. And to say I've had some extremely good luck would probably be understating it. And we're starting off with this. Something I never thought I'd get lucky enough to see. I had just been hunting Sambar and Rusa deer in my tree stand setup. And I fast travel back to the main lodge to start walking along the river. I look across to my magpie goose setup and there was an albino male magpie goose. Now, I didn't have anything on me to actually shoot it. So I ran back to the lodge, grabbed the 17 HMR, came back and it had gone. I then spent the next several real life hours sat at this goose set up waiting and hoping that this albino would actually come back and finally as it was just basically getting to last light at this point I thought I saw a much paler looking individual goose in this flock and sure enough as it came over the top of my head there I identified it as definitely being that albino male and managed to take him out of the air which actually makes it a lot cooler than just sniping it basically from a distance with the 17 HMR I think actually taking it out of the air was a lot cooler in the end but I was so nervous that this thing was never going to come back so when I finally got this thing on the ground I was so incredibly relieved I just I really like the rare magpie geese I think they look really cool but I never thought I'd get lucky enough to actually get an albino now there is melanistics for these guys as well which I would love to get a melanistic too 
but I'm so so chuffed with this I couldn't be more happy and like I said having to sit there and wait for a long long time for this thing to come back it was all worth it it's a bit of a shame that it was basically at last light and I was actually getting worried about the the days switching over when it was going to get to the end of the day but oh I was just so so happy with this I still can't believe I actually got one now I've been made aware since I actually shot this just how rare these things are now of course I knew it was a rare obviously being an albino and I've been looking for one for ages but it's just been made very clear to me that these are very 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 hard to find which I just can't believe I got that lucky I'm so incredibly grateful and the best thing I get to share it with you all as well so yeah just a really awesome experience and yeah it was a bit different having to wait that amount of time to actually be able to harvest it it was a real tense few hours waiting for that bird to come back but yeah so incredibly worth it it was really awesome now sticking with Pickabean Bay for the next trophy and you'll have already just seen him there on the screen this is by far my new personal best sambar deer. He is an absolute monster. Now, when I saw that estimate, I thought this has to be a pretty good one. But I wasn't expecting him to be as big as he actually was. And I was just sat here watching him, waiting for him to actually come into the bottom of my tree stand. And this is the tree stand I actually had just come from when I went and spotted that albino magpie goose. I come to this particular tree stand set up very regularly to try and get some rare sambar or rusa deer. And as many sambar and rusa deer as I've harvested, I've never had a single rare. I've harvested more sambar deer than anything else in this game, including mule deer, which really surprised me. But I've not had a single rare. And I really would love to find some rares for these guys because the rares are just absolutely gorgeous. So now, picking this guy up after dropping him there with the bow, which I was really happy with, I didn't expect to see this pop up. 250.7874 now this currently places me at 11th on the leaderboard which is pretty high up there and yeah my previous personal best was a 242 so i really wasn't expecting this i shot a 240 earlier in the night on a different session when i was in this tree stand and then i come back a few hours later sit in this tree stand again and get this as the first animal that walked in in this particular session as a 250 i couldn't believe it i was like there's no way i just got one this big now they can get bigger the top on the leaderboard i think is a 256 right now but you know a 250 when the top one is a 256 that's not bad i'm really really just over the moon with this i couldn't believe it such an awesome trophy to get and i was here just looking for res so yeah that was completely unexpected and once again, couldn't be happier. That is awesome. I am so, so happy with this. And it went, of course, went straight to the Trophy Lodge, replaced the 242. Just the width on this guy, the tip to tip spread. Absolutely incredible animal. Now, I mentioned that over the past week or so, I've been incredibly lucky with some really awesome harvests. You know, that magpie goose, the sandbar deer. But last night, something else just extremely lucky and rare happened so i was on loggers point actually hunting hoping to find a non-typical mule deer or a non-typical whitetail as i really love the non-tips in this game and i only have small ones so i'd really love to find some and actually get some bigger ones for the trophy lodge but it just wasn't happening on this hunt this hunt was very bland it was all small males females nothing rare nothing big so i had been hunting mainly the southern part of loggers point from the middle tower heading south and i decided okay it's getting towards sort of the the end of what i want to be my hunt i will fast travel up to the northern lodge on loggers point and then i'll walk south again a little bit to the nearest tower that there is i'll sit in the tower for a while call see if i can call any bucks in and that will be the end of my hunt well as i was actually walking south to that tower I saw a pretty good mule deer with a, an estimate over 200. So I shot it and it ended up being a 215. And I was pretty happy with that. It's a decent buck. But when I shot it, I could have sworn I saw something really bright just go running. But I couldn't actually get a spot on it. And I assumed it was probably just a grey bobcat. So I picked up my mule deer and headed into the tower. Got into the tower and I got a call from a bobcat. So I was like, okay, that's probably what I saw. 
And I'm calling in this one bobcat, which was a male. And I just see something like glowing white off to my right hand side. And I'm like, is that just a tree stump or something? What is that? And I get the scope on it and it's a bobcat walking away. And I was like, that looks like what I thought I might have seen go running out of the corner of my eye. And I was just looking at it and all I could see was the back end of this bobcat. And I thought, that looks real bright. That looks brighter than the grey male that's out in front of me. That looks white. And sure enough, I go and pick up the track. It's a female bobcat. I track it down to where we are right now. It's an albino bobcat. An albino bobcat. After one of the worst hunts in terms of finding many animals or any animals of quality, anything like that, that I've had in a little while. And then I go to this last point, this last sort of ditch attempt at trying to get something decent on this hunt and there's a freaking albino bobcat. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. I was messaging one of my friends who actually has a bob an albino bobcat himself. And I was like trying to get pictures to him like, is this actually what I think it is? Because there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. These things are so extremely rare. It's It's just insane. I could not believe what I was seeing in front of me. But seeing her there while she was actually hunting, there's no doubt about what that is. That's an albino. She was out in the open where I could see her. And even as she starts to walk towards me here, you'll, you'll be able to see the red eyes. I, was, I just couldn't believe what I was looking at. I was actually shaking. And I couldn't believe it because after I'd initially picked up her tracks, she got spooked by a coyote that came into the call. So I ended up going back to the Northern Lodge, grabbing the 17 HMR, coming back down here, picking up the track, tracking her down to this point. And it was just awesome. And being able to see her doing that hunting animation as she was coming into the call, I couldn't ask for anything more. It, this was just the coolest experience. I, I can't believe this happened. I was so panicky, thinking, oh, I'm probably just, you know, getting excited over nothing. It's probably just a grey that's tricking me. No, it was an actual albino. And look how close she comes here before I end up actually taking her. <laughs> she was just so incredibly close. And I didn't actually have camo that. I am wearing the, uh, the summer field camo, which is good for the field areas on this map. But I checked and I had no camo in this particular spot. So how she didn't see me, I don't know. But I'm so grateful that she didn't. And you can see there, Rarity Albino. It's only a female, so it's not going to be particularly high scoring as a 6.9356. But the score doesn't matter at all. It's an albino bobcat. Who cares about the score, really? I can't believe it. I, I just wasn't even looking at that. I was staring at the top where it says Species Bobcat Rarity Albino just something I never thought I'd get to see. This is something that people, you know, that actually actively hunt bobcats don't see very often. And so for me to get get one, when I haven't even got a mounter bobcat, I've not got a big male bobcat, for me to end up getting a rare one, I don't know what kind of luck that is, but I will take it and I'm so incredibly grateful. I just honestly, I can't believe I got to harvest this last night. It was crazy. And I, I'm not exaggerating when I say that when I thought that I'd seen an albino bobcat, my heart started pounding. And I was in the in sort of in the back of my head going, I really hope this isn't a grey, because if this is a grey, I'm gonna be so sad. Because I was pretty confident that I saw what I thought I saw. But because I didn't get the clearest look at it, I was like doubting myself over what I thought I'd seen. And, you know, finally getting to see her in the open and seeing the eyes and there just being no doubt about it, I was just shaking that I'd actually managed to find one of these incredibly, incredibly rare animals. I couldn't be more grateful or appreciative of actually getting to harvest this. It's in pride of place in my rares trophy lodge now alongside the albino magpie goose, the albino moose and some of my other favourite rares that I've gotten lucky enough to harvest as I've been playing this game. But 
yeah, this week has been crazy for getting good stuff. And I hope my disbelief and gratefulness and just pure shock comes across because that's what it is. It is just pure and utter shock. I still can't really comprehend that I got to get this creature last night. And, you know, that I got to get an albino magpie goose in that huge sandbar. I've just, it's just all been so crazy. And I'm just so, so, so grateful to have this luck. <laughs> like, it was amazing. Amazing, amazing. And I've been so excited since last night to actually get this video out. I've been excited really since getting the mule deer to put this video out. And it's just been one thing after another with different early access uh, stuff to cover, with other videos to make, with me unfortunately being unwell. And it's just kept, sort of kept going and going and going. And then I was fully planning today to make the video with the albino magpie goose and all the other highlights. And then last night I thought, oh, I'll just go and have a quick hunt and see if I can get anything else good to put in the video. And then I get an albino bobcat. So I just, yeah, it kind of had to be today no matter what. Because I, I was like, okay, this is getting too ridiculous. I need to put this video out now. Um, yeah. And I'm so incredibly lucky that I get, like, that I got to record it as well and be able to share it with you all. Because I don't know if it's just me, but seeing this albino bobcat actually doing the hunting animations and stuff that they do, I thought that was really, really cool. And when it was actually happening in front of me, I was grinning ear to ear like, this is awesome. And this is something I love about the Hunter Classic. You never know when something good is going to happen. It was such, like I said, such like a bland hunt with not much going on. And then I go to the very last place that I was intending to go and boom, there's one of the rarest animals in the game just waiting there. That was absolutely crazy. And yeah, I, I can't wait to actually put this video out and see what you guys make of this. And hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy watching the footage because... I really enjoyed capturing it. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. And just a huge thank you, you know, for your understanding while I've been unwell. I'm still a little bit under the weather, but I am recovering now, hopefully. So hopefully there'll be more regular videos again soon. But yeah, I couldn't wait to put this one out. It's been footage that I've been collecting over a little while, as I mentioned. And yeah, I'm just super excited about this one. But I just need to say a huge thank you to all of you. And for all your well wishes and everything, you've all been really, really awesome and very, very kind. But that is it for this video. So thank you all so much and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.